What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. Now, I got a very special snippet from a very special interview with Game from BusyWorksBeats.com. Now, this guy right here, man, is somebody I admire. He's a producer. For those of you who don't know, if you're a producer, you've probably seen some of them tutorials on the channel, but I admire the way he moves, not just only as a producer, but as a music entrepreneur and the way he thinks. So go ahead and check out this snippet and we'll talk about why this is so relevant to me afterwards. It's the mat work. So let me ask you, are you a perfectionist? Yeah, man, I try not to, I work very hard not to be, but that's probably me being a perfectionist about not being one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. It's just, I'm learning more about Virgos day by day, but uh, you need a Virgil, somebody to guide you through. It doesn't matter how much theory you have about your environment currently. If you're going to run, I'm trying to think of a cool analogy, hmm, football, okay? It's different when you practice in the heat and you got, you know, tough grass and you're, you got cleats on and everything. It's different when you practice there all year versus when you practice in the snow. It's a whole different thing. You have wind now, you have lack of friction, you have injuries, more injuries. So now you have to think about your coaching separately. There's different elements in different environments. And that's what people don't know. They think they know the game of football, but when they introduce different variables, now they're thinking like, oh, I don't know what to do now because there's a different variable. So the goal is you need a guide who understands the cycles. And when people talk about cycles, they're talking about the ups and downs regardless of the variables in a specific industry. Okay, that's what a cycle is. There's an up and down flow. Um, so I'll keep it short, but that's mainly why you need mentors. They're just gonna get you there faster. Why would you spend a year, four years trying to do trial and error when somebody's done it? They've done that already. Why are you spending more time? It's just, it's stupid to me. Yeah, so man. That's Look, why I see guidance. <laughs> I've spent enough time on trial and errors on things, man. I try to, I try to game everything that I can. Well, not not even game it because I don't like that idea uh, for how people take it. But I try to. Where there's places that I can take a shortcut, not a shortcut as in things aren't done well. It's just like I don't have to waste my time learning this because it's already been learned. <laughs> you know what I mean? I definitely right. try to do that now, and I spend the years being hard headed and thinking I knew everything. So I get it. <laughs> well, and, and you just remind me, <clears throat> uh, uh, mentors add guidance and clarity. So like you mentioned clarity, you're so happy that you have clarity now. Now you know that you know, you have confidence. So for example, we're working with a singer, her name is Sine Waller, the lovely, beautiful Sine Monique Waller, a beautiful person. And she's a singer. Now I'm watching her kind of bud from nothing. So go into YouTube, go into Instagram, trying to figure it out. So I'm telling her where it works. You don't have to like be frustrated with the algorithms if I tell you exactly what's worked for me and exactly what will work for you. You know, like maybe people just need to help somebody below them so that they can understand the importance of like guidance. It's the network. All right, now that full interview is on brandmannetwork.com, but one of the things I wanna to touch on is just the fact that he said, maybe if you don't understand the value of a mentor, maybe you should take place in teaching somebody. I think that's something that really is a great suggestion. I never heard anybody say that before, but if you do that, I guarantee you, you probably will start to see that value. The more people I teach and help with things, the more I realize, yo, man, I need this for myself. Where am I going to get it from? Right? I've, I've definitely been through that process, but what I love that he said is really understanding that it's not just about this template and this blueprint because everybody is looking for a blueprint. Blueprint. You can see blueprints from studying other people. You can take a course for a blueprint. And the difference is when you actually get into the world, right? When you actually start to execute stuff, the weather might not be the same that day. It might have been a sunny day where that blueprint exists, but it might be raining the other day or it might be cold. Who knows what the conditions will be, but everybody has their own particular conditions, especially when we're talking about artists moving throughout the music industry and we're talking about an age where technology is changing things so fast. You need to have some people in your corner that can help you with those nuances, help you with the things that start to happen that you can't really plan for. And I always try to tell everybody, you can mastermind whatever you want to in that dark room, right? Well, maybe not in the dark room, but like at your desk, right? Read, listen, and 
to videos, reading books. You can make whatever plan you want to. But once you get into execution, there's always going to be changes and the game is won based on those changes you make as you actually get out into the field, right? So keep that in mind because that's just the reality of the situation and having those mentors and advisors to go to is really what you need to have, right? That, that is the bonus and it'll help you get there so much quicker. And that's one of the values of brandmannetwork.com where it's not really just about the courses, it's really about that, that in between when you're actually executing can we help you with those nuances, being able to talk through those? We've had people get into Facebook ads and things like that. You follow the course, but now you're in this actual situation. Yo, let's talk about this because this happened. And oh, wait, this isn't this type of show. This is that type of show and we can make adjustments. And these are the results you're getting. Eh, you should stop doing this right here. Or even though the results look better number wise, you should stay on that. Or somebody had an investor meeting and, and now we can respond and make sure the things that happen in an investor meeting can get done for you. There's so many little nuances and different situations that artists are going through that we get to help them with because there's ongoing support. That's one version of what we're creating. But even with that, right, just always understanding that regardless of what you're doing and where you are in your process, there's going to be some type of advisor that you can probably benefit from, some type of mentor that you can probably benefit for, from. I know there's a lot of people that don't really talk about that and mention that, but last but not least, I'll mention somebody like Kanye West. One thing that Kanye West does very well is ask a lot of questions. Charlemagne does this as well too. He, people say he asks stupid questions sometimes or it, seem like a, it seems like a stupid question, but he's always getting clarity and more information. If you don't ask those questions, you don't get that extra information that comes from somebody clarifying to see what they mean. But why I mentioned Kanye is because so many of the things he says, he's someone who doesn't necessarily read a lot, that's what he said, right? But he actually talks and asks questions and meets with a lot of, of the foremost thought leaders. That gives him access because of who he is, right? But it's just the idea that he's constantly looking for those people who know, and he's constantly trying to learn from those people he know. He even got the internship while he was already Kanye West from Louis Vuitton to learn that process and, and other companies to learn their process and talk to those people, the people who are actually doing. Everybody that I know is, that's very successful, right? so many of the people that I know that are very successful, they have some version of that. They can either read books, right? That's always something that a lot of them do, but even bigger than that, they're going to people, even if it's just their friends, but their friends are specialists in certain areas, so they're still doing the same thing. They might not call them a mentor or advisor, but they're still doing the same thing. They're learning from somebody who knows more than them in another category, and then they also can go to those people for adjustments, that in between, not just general knowledge. No, this is happening right now. What should I do about this right now? That's where you're gonna get the most benefit versus just random videos or even general books and or one-off course. You need something that can support you ongoing. That's gonna get you through the fast track. That's where you're gonna be able to win and come out with the, the most, because <laughs> sometimes people win, but they come out with less, but that's a whole nother story. Other than that, man, of course, you can see the full inter interview at brandmannetwork.com because, hey, I signed myself, and if you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. If you're not, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe.